YouTube, Jay Kilroy back in the shop. Thank you for stopping by on this rainy day. Um, got a little project here. Got a got a tool holder, shaper tool holder for the Sharp Eye. You will recognize this as an Armstrong number forty-eight, and it has a. 15 16 bore. Don't ask me why. I know why. Because Armstrong sold a 15 16 boring bar. I believe it was the number 11. I think that was the 15 16. Anyway, um, and I have an Armstrong 15 16 boring bar. The problem is it's about a foot and a half long, right? It's really big. And I need something shorter. So uh, we're going to make one today and we're going to start with this chunk of steel round here and uh, make a much shorter bo shorter boring bar. I didn't want to cut off my other one and um, so there we go. That's the project for the day. So we're going to start this project the way so many lathe projects are starting. We're going to face off and center drill both ends of the work. So it's time to start carving this down to diameter. We've got about three sixteenths roughly to take off of here. And the boring bar is going to be somewhere somewhere between four or five, I say somewhere between five or six inches long. decided to leave a little bit of a boss on the back here so the, you'll have to load this uh, into the tool holder from the back but it'll give it uh, just a little more purchase there in the uh, in the tool holder so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around here in the chuck we're gonna clean this end up This is to no particular dimension, just...
So here's our mock-up tool holder and the uh, the tool uh, the bar as it sits. This is our tool blank, piece of M42 high-speed steel, quarter inch. It's going to be right down here, and the way we're going to make that happen is uh, courtesy of our friends at Dumont. Quarter inch square brooch. So I've decided to make the tool holder portion of this uh, replaceable. That way I could have a variety of sizes, not just quarter inch square. So what we're going to do here is we are going to counterbore a half inch uh, counterbore and then we're going to drill and tap for a 3 8 by 24 thread on the uh, ID at the bottom of this counterbore. That's going to be used to hold the tool attachment to the bar. Here I'm using a four flute end mill to make the counterbore uh, in an ER40 type tool holder. Uh, it goes in my uh, tailstock, works great. And this is the uh, tap drill size for 3 for 24, so making progress. Here we're going to tap the hole and all I'm really doing is feeding that tap in manually and just turning the chuck by hand. Uh, it is a blind hole in the bottom there. So just uh, playing it safe I guess. Okay, now we're going to start on the tool holder portion that will screw into the end of the shank. We're marking out the three diameters here. We're going to turn the spud for the 3 8 by 24 thread first. And then we're going to turn the half inch uh, diameter for the counterbore. And then we're going to turn the finish diameter for the tool holder portion itself. Now this is going to be the last pass for the diameter uh, for the 3 8 24 thread and uh, now we're going to start on the half inch portion for a total distance of 300 for the counterboard. Countable portion is done, so now we're just going to do a little OD turning to match up our finished OD with the shank that we've already produced.
So we finished all of our diameters. Now we're going to be kind to ourselves and chamfer all these sharp edges so I don't cut myself. And then we're going to cut a relief groove for the 3 8 by 24 thread. All right, so we got one end and another end. Didn't think I was going to do just one, did you? There you go. Now some of y'all are probably asking, Kilroy, why didn't you park those off while you had them in the lane? Well, because I got to be able to hold this to drill it and broach it. So I didn't want to uh, take it off the bar quite yet. So that's why I did both ends. All right, so with the mill, got my workpiece here uh, in the Kurt with a couple of uh, Sterrett V blocks here, match pair, holding it in the vise. I've gone ahead and used my center finder, I mean my edge finder, to um, pick up two edges and find the center of this workpiece. And um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and hit it with a 3 8 inch spotter, just nick it, and then drill our uh, pilot size for our brooch. You know, I've been using this quill wheel for a while, the uh, CL1 quill wheel. I have a video on it I'll link to down below. And uh, this is when you really appreciate it. Pecking, drilling like this, the quill wheel just really does a great job. And nobody's paying me to say that, so. <laughs> All right, we got that side done. I'm going to do the other side and then we'll get set up to broach. All right, so there you go. A boring bar or a tool holder for cutting keyways has been made. This is a really tight fit here. Just so you know, if you broach a quarter inch hole, don't expect to put a quarter inch tool bit in it. You're going to need to spend some quality time with some of your friends. 
in order to do that. There we go. Let's get the uh, Armstrong. So take that back out. Man, that's tight. I mean, a tight fits what you want. So. What I need to do is I need to mark it. I need to mark this in line with the tool bit so that I can line it up with the tool. pretty good. I think that'll work. So now that we have this, what are we going to do with it?